Dating. It's hard enough as it is already, but throw a pandemic into the mix and it adds even more complication. However, with dating apps already being at an all-time high, the real question is, has our dating life really changed at all? We speak to potential matches online nearly every day, so we're used to receiving that cheesy pickup line or suggestive gif. To find out the real answer, we wanted to speak to those active daters, those in-betweeners, and the relationships being put to the test throughout all of this. Welcome to the first part of Dating in Lockdown. Um, so today we're joined by Kira and Lottie. Um, they're both third year students at university. Kira, you're in a relationship. Um, and what are your single? So we just want to get like your opinion today on how lockdown has been for you both. So first off, how how was lockdown? It's been all right. <laughs> it's yeah. just weird now. Like um, like one girl at work today asked me, "How was your lockdown?" And I was like, "You know, I can't even remember it. Like, what did <laughs> I? She was like, Have you learned any new things?" She was like, "I started crocheting," and I was like. <laughs> I can't even think what I did in lockdown like to say we've it's been like we left uni in March and now we're in July like it's crazy it's how long so fast. It. even though it's such a dragged out period of time it's going so fast I don't even know where it's gone so yeah I think mine's been like different stages so when we first went into lockdown I was in France so I had to get like an emergency flight back and Gosh. then I, I was actually going for like a weekend away from uni and then I never went back to uni <laughs> um so yeah I mean the first we had all of our deadlines so to be honest it was kind of good at the beginning because it meant I just focused on the deadlines but then after that I was a bit lost didn't know what to do with myself mm -hmm. then I went through like a whole fitness kick and now I'm kind of like I just want to go out and do stuff again now yeah. I'm bored it's got to the point now where like places are starting to open She's just ready. Yeah. Like, I know I'm ready to go out clubbing again. Getting yeah, I know I'm ready as well. So, Kira, um, mm -hmm. what do you think has been the biggest impact on your relationship having been apart through lockdown? Um, I don't know. I think what's been like the hardest really is because we're kind of used to the long distance at uni. Like I'm in Southampton, he's in Nottingham. Um, so it didn't really. I don't know at the start like obviously like Lottie said we're still doing work and everything like that and that so there was something to keep you distracted but the worst thing was really was that we only live five minutes away from each other at home um, so it was more that like when you're in Nottingham and Southampton it's different because you're so far apart so it's harder to see yeah. each other but we can walk to each other's houses when we're at home at least so I felt like yeah you know you have that distance but now now knowing there is just down the road yeah that's what made it hard I feel like th nothing really like impacted it because we were kind of used to it mm. like it just but I think what made it so much easier is that I was with my mum and dad so it wasn't there wasn't that more the homesickness that there wasn't the homesickness because I'm here I'm at home yeah so I feel like in terms of like because I uh, my friend has had a different experience with her boyfriend because they met at uni so they're together at uni and then this was the first they've been together since October and this is the first time they've not seen each other every weekend mm. so she had it so a lot of stuff impacted her relationship but with me it just was fine really like it's quite lucky you had the experience of being distant yeah so mm -hmm. it just meant that like you were used to it even though it is frustrating okay. yeah and it was I feel like the worst bit was when like it was my birthday mm -hmm. like it was the my birthday was the first day that you could have six people in your garden so it's quite good in that sense like I and we ha like I had my friends around and stuff but then like, I can't say like when they give me a present I can't say oh thank you like you can't give them a hug that was what was weird really, it's really yeah. weird like the no contact thing and you realize that yeah. like how in how much you touch people like i know yeah. this is really weird but how much you are in contact with people every day even yeah. in a bar like people are coming up to you like pushing past you and now that's just you know yeah. everyone's got their 
we were at, at, when I was at work today, like you go to do something, you go like at the till, you go to go past them and you're like, oh, can you move? Like yeah. every time we used the iPad or every time we used a pen, it was like, okay, get the dental wipes out. Like it's just yeah. weird. Yeah. Weird. It's really weird. Um, and Lottie with you. So, you know, like um, online dating is really popular. It's really taken off. Um, are you are you like on the dating apps? On the dating apps. Yeah. Um, I think when lockdown first started, I'd actually been talking to someone oh. like before. They ended a while <laughs> But like it was really weird because it was kind of like, I think I'd been messaging him probably for like a month. We never met or anything. He was from back home. Um, and so when it went into lockdown like obviously you're not in like the situation where you're okay about obviously like you continue talking obviously we knew it was going to be a long time till we like ever got to meet each other so it was really weird especially with dating apps and stuff it kind of was like well I'm bored and I'm not going to have any contact with any males for a very long time yeah. or like dating for a long time but like you still kind of want that part of you but then it was really weird because it was like well obviously you're not going to be able to meet for a long time so it was kind of like accepting that you'd be in the talking stage for a while and I think like I lasted talking to him for like three months without meeting and then it kind of just got to the point where it was like you'd spoke about everything as well because I felt so boring as well because that was the issue with like talking to people online like during lockdown it's like you don't like I didn't have anything to say like to a certain extent like you can kind of go over all of the conversations like luckily we did have really good chats but like you can only talk for so much and it's like what are you doing today and it's like nothing and like it was like this, this sort of uncertainty of like you didn't know when you were going to come out of lockdown um yeah so it was kind of difficult but I think now dating apps are like hotter than ever like I think everyone is I hit them up if they're single but I like it's I think I'm gonna be so nervous when I next like go on a date or like meet someone I like because like even if I get served by like a man at the post office I'm not really sure what to do with myself <laughs> yeah so, yeah it has been a weird old experience I think being so it's that weird social interaction as well like yeah, it was, thing. yeah like it was my boyfriend's um birthday the um last week and like some of his family came around in the garden and stuff and it was like I haven't seen these people for months yeah. and then obviously because I haven't seen them since Christmas because it, we were coming back so unexpected and as soon as you came back you were in lockdown so it's getting used to that social interaction again and also like you were saying about talking to someone like I felt that as well like me and Ollie didn't have anything to talk about yeah it was <laughs> at home doing our uni stuff and like Lottie say you were talking to like maybe a few boys like it's the same conversation again and again like there's nothing different yeah. I think like it's been quite nice actually because in terms of on dating apps the only way you've stayed talking to someone is if you're genuinely interested in each other like you can genuinely have like com and it's not just about like physical attraction anymore like I actually think it's being better talking to people on dating apps because it's less like if someone's genuinely interested in you like they're having to put in an effort if not the conversation will die because you can't just meet up and then like go from now whatever like you're actually having to like fully talk to someone it has been really weird but like it means that you actually have to genuinely be like invested in someone and like want to talk to them so it's kind of filtered out that sort of like oh someone who just wants to message you because they want your attention kind of thing like you actually have to have good conversations and kind of be interested in the same things because if not like you're going to talk for one day and then you're never going to talk again but. I never thought about you saying like filtering out like the players because a lot of people you know are on tinder for something yeah <laughs> and they're not going to be on there because it's illegal <laughs> yeah, exactly like it has been and like the boys with like the poor chat or who clearly are like meshing like tons of girls and stuff like it kind of is that they have to be a bit special to like keep your attention which is like really nice but it's weird as well because like I don't know about you guys but like I'm not taking as many like selfies or like because I'm not going clubbing I'm not taking pictures like so it is weird because I'm kind of like you're attracted to me from a picture of me like a year ago when I was going <laughs> out in Southampton yeah. sat at home like no extensions no fake tan or no makeup like ugh. Am I the same person that you were, you were attracted to in these pictures? <laughs> Hopefully she'll come back at some point, but it has been a funny old time. It is, it is a weird thing, but I guess 
for me personally, it's made me appreciate like getting to know myself and like getting to know the type of person that I would look for. Yeah. Just chatting to anyone on like the app, like on any apps or stuff like that, and yeah. they're not really paying an interest. So. Yeah. Like, because it's not like someone's just chatting to you because they're going to text you at 2 a.m., like after they've come back from clubbing and be like, oh, I really need to talk to you. Like, it's actually like, oh, we've got to be able to have a good conversation when like all you're doing is like having barbecues with your family and walking your dog. Like <laughs> yeah. it's been nice in that way. But it is it is meaning the only way to meet people if you're single right now is dating apps. Yeah, literally. Unless you're like really lucky in the supermarket. Yeah, unless you, you get a really <laughs> good <out>, spot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kira with you, has it been hard kind of keeping the spark alive in your relationship because you'd have this time to spend together Um, and you know it's been a long time yeah because it's been weird in terms of like obviously we finish uni in like may Mm. so uh, we finished at the start of may so normally i'd be be home for then so it's a good in a way that um like he's at uni in nottingham so when i come back home he's here yeah that's quite good but into i feel like it's just like like we didn't have much to talk about some t- some days so like sometimes you'd wait a bit longer until you message him in the morning yeah like so you could like have that time like to think of stuff like what to say <laughs> basically but i don't know it's just like facetiming and stuff like that really like yeah that's an th- important th- when we're at uni and stuff like we send each other like little surprise gifts and stuff like that but like in lockdown it was just I think it's because like it it's so like a, such an alien experience for everyone mm. yeah like, because um uh, two of my friends moved in with their boyfriend for lockdown yeah a lot of people have been doing that I've seen that yeah. it's gone one so, or two ways. like yeah so even though we get on really well and I get along with his family well and he gets along with mine like we could we couldn't have done it yeah like I because obviously we know we have a lot of uni work so and so like and he has barely any so like I'd constantly be doing that and it I don't know and also like it's different like we could live together but it's different in terms of when you live with someone you go into work you're going to see your friends he's going to see his friend it's very different you have it's more but right now yeah well in lockdown we will be together yeah 24 7 so Lottie with you has it has lockdown made you realize anything further about being single like has it made you appreciate being single or want to be in a relationship I think that lockdown's actually been a really nice reflective time Mm. because at the beginning I was so low and I was like oh I just kind of want company but then to be honest I think I went through like when I was younger when I was probably like between the ages of like 16 and 18, I wanted a boyfriend so much. <laughs> I was like, this is so embarrassing. I'm like 18, I've never had a boyfriend. Like, oh my God, this is so embarrassing. Um, and all of my friends had had boyfriends of at least like six months to a year. And I was like, why can everyone else get a boyfriend and I can't? And I literally <laughs> thought it was the most embarrassing, worst thing that could ever have happened to me. Um, and like, also if 16 year old me knew I was 20 and I was still had never had a boyfriend, she would be crying. Honestly, I remember like, <laughs> when I was about 16 I was like if I'm still 20 and I'm not like engaged that is <laughs> and I know like I literally used to be like oh, I need a boyfriend because if not like I am the ugliest girl in the world but like yeah. I'm kind of glad I went through that because now I'm extremely happy single like I'm an extremely independent person and I also have realized that like I just need someone who like perfectly fits in my life because like I I just love my independence and I love like kind of being able to do what I want when I want and I don't know like unless someone comes along who's literally perfect and I like can't say no to them like I do really enjoy being single right now because the thing that scares me is because they would be my first relationship if I got in one now I wouldn't want to start not doing things because I was in a relationship yeah. Also, I've just not met anyone who I've genuinely like clicked with and been like, "Oh, I want you to be my boyfriend." So, like, unless that person comes along, I I would just be forcing the situation. Like, they wouldn't be right for me. So, I think a lockdown's 
I mean, it's made me want to kind of put myself out there and like go dating more. And also like, it's made me be a bit like, it's all like taking, cause I always say to my friends, like sometimes you'll meet a boy and like, you're just not right for each other. But when I used to go on dates, if they didn't fancy me, I genuinely was like, what is wrong with me? Like, oh no, my God, true, yeah. is it my face? Is it my hair? Like, that was what I'd always think. But it's like, sometimes you just meet someone and you're not a match. And I think that lockdown's actually been a really nice time to reflect on that. Do you guys think like, there. this will change dating for the better then because everyone's starting to actually get to know each other or? Um, I think there's gonna be a lot of people, as soon as nightclubs open, the amount of kissing that we're going to see <laughs> is going to be slightly repulsive, I think. I, don't, I think that, like, people... I think there's going to be a lot of people getting asked out around Christmas. <laughs> I think it's going to be a lot more relationship. I think it's... I don't know. I think it's going to make people actually value conversation more. I think, hopefully, it makes... Like, in terms of, like, hookup culture... I think it might make people be a bit more like, I actually want, I think there'll be a peak in hookup culture, <laughs> um, like after, like when nightclubs and stuff sort of open. But I do think that there is going to be a lot more, like, if you can both be like not together and actually have a really good conversation, that's going to be viewed as a lot more important. Yeah, I definitely agree. Yeah, because I think long distance relationships as well are probably going to be normalized a lot more yeah, yeah definitely because I, I had never really thought of it in the way of like being on tinder and bumble and stuff changing but now like Lottie's talked about it like really has changed like you can't just go and like hook up like yeah. you actually walk into people like properly yeah. and I feel like <laughs> yeah and like also you've got to think when clubs do open are people gonna be kissing because it's it's just a way to spread everyone could be still really oh. nervous about about it yeah yeah you don't know do you but I don't think it changed when just before we went into lockdown like the week before lockdown I don't think that changed people <laughs> no one like <laughs> no one thought that this would be as big as it is I personally think and this might be a little bit like presumptuous but I think it might change boys attitudes towards dating more than girls fingers crossed I mean I guess it depends on who you're talking about but in terms of me who's slightly more of a softie and likes you know talking to someone and like getting to know them and stuff mm -hmm. but I think like boys might get a bit more into that instead of being like oh there's this fit girl like I'm just gonna you know go and see whoever it might be actually like oh this guy I actually get on well with but you never know with dating like <laughs> they always like to surprise you I think, I think there is a good chance that um, people take it a bit more seriously and like actually want to mm, make the effort with so. someone because I think they've, I mean, you can, it's so easy to feel lonely like throughout mm. my life. So I definitely think that there should, that there will be a positive change. Um, so with you, Kira, do you think it's made you appreciate your partner more like throughout all of this? Yeah, I would say so, because it was both our birthdays. Um, like, mine was the start of June and his has just gone, and it was his 21st as well, and we're, like, we're meant to be in Devon, and, yeah. like, I was going to, like, book, like, a trip away and, like, stuff like that. And it's just, it makes you appreciate it more because, like, it's weird because, like, on my birthday, we couldn't even have any contact. Yeah. Like, it was so weird like I would say yeah definitely appreciate more because also even though sometimes maybe it was hard to think of things to talk about except from what's Boris doing today like <laughs> yeah it's, like, it's, it's nice to have someone to constantly talk to mm. like just yeah. a source of something I'm sure as well like obviously like being able to like have a cuddle with her and stuff yeah like that will be like you I just kind of so when an Alex have it as well. <laughs> Is that contact with them? Yeah, I think so. Cause like it's like nice having like a hug with your mum and dad, but it's just not the same, is it? Really? <laughs> like, but I don't. I think, and also it's having someone else to talk to because like me and my mum and my dad like get on really like get on well. Like mm -hmm. hardly argue, but like 
I would say more like end of May, like we're starting to snap a bit more. Yeah. It was appreciated having someone else to FaceTime and get away from that, even like when his mum and dad were coming on the FaceTime as well. Yeah. yeah somebody definitely. else to have a conversation with. And they probably like that as well because it's just been like his mum and dad and his brother. So it's like. It's really they, important as well, like just to step away from your environment for even just an hour and just to speak yeah. to someone new. Um, but also a massive well done to you for like actually distancing like, so many couples that just like didn't care. It's, I, because say if like, because we could be like none of me or my family or his family have had, have had any symptoms or anything, but my mum and dad are both teachers. So they were still going to work. And I just thought, you know, if I was asymptomatic and I gave it to his mum and then she was seriously ill or something, or he was, I'd feel awful. So, it was, so even though I really wanted to see him, it was more that I don't want to die. Like, <laughs> and I don't want any of his family to die either. So it was nice when you could go in their garden. So that, yeah. yeah. Nice, it was something like, to forward to as well I guess yeah because it was like even I was like we had a barbecue because it was that night it was that week that week of really nice weather so mm. like we could have a barbecue and like still like have a nice time together but obviously from a distance so. yeah well it makes all the like difference in the world doesn't it still just being able to see someone basically yeah. so do you guys have like Kira do you have any plans with your boyfriend or Lottie do you have any plans for anyone like now lockdown is a lot less you know strict because obviously I said it was both of our birthdays in lockdown so because they're only like two weeks apart we'd normally do something in the middle like last year we went to Amsterdam and stuff like that so we're planning on maybe going to like Manchester or somewhere like that yeah like, because obviously we know we're going back in October so hopefully fingers crossed maybe like middle of september before i go back to southampton to we could go to manchester or somewhere like that because it's not too far away but because i know some people like are going on holiday but i just feel too i know are you going on holiday lottie i think yeah i just i'm too nervous to go on holiday yet too ne don't want to fly yet <laughs> so a nice city break in manchester would be nice but it's hard to like do I book it now because what if we have a second spike then I lose my money like it's hard Absolutely. to know you have no idea what's going to happen and I think that's probably what everyone's kind of struggling with at the moment is we don't know if there's going to be a second spike or what's going to yeah. happen um and then for me no I don't have any plans at the moment to be meeting up with anyone um sort of the person who I've <laughs> this makes you sound awful but can I just say it's over the last like four or five months <laughs> you sound like I've got like a new boy each week I'm like oh, on to the next <laughs> no, but, um, in terms of the boy who I'm like speaking to at the moment again early days like and also I feel like talking during lockdown you're like the only thing with it I was like are you just messaging me because like it's something to do or because you actually want to like meet up with me kind of thing because yeah. like the person talking to the moment is still very early days and I don't know like what his intentions are and I also think at the moment like um obviously from my TikToks I'm kind of in a bit of a like weight loss kind of self like just kind of wanting to get back to like a nice healthy place like working on myself so I'm kind of like though a date would be nice I kind of I'm like I don't know if I'm ready for that yet like I kind of want to get myself to a place where I feel really confident because I do think that coronavirus did give me a little bit of a dent to my confidence I kind of was like where I used to I loved getting like dressed up and getting like glam and stuff obviously I've not been doing that and I kind of felt like I lost a bit of my like I don't, yeah I don't I, know, like yeah because I was like, what's the point in putting, wasting my money on makeup when I'm not going anywhere? But it was just like, do you know, when you sat in bed and you opened Snapchat and you were just there and you were like, <laughs> yeah. Just, like, 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 at the beginning of yeah. lockdown, I was eating so badly. The weather was awful. I was itching tracksuit bottoms every day. Like, I just really just let myself go. And like, it also was like, just, like, I never got dressed up. I never was putting on nice clothes. And obviously we're like, fashion students so we like to you know put on a nice outfit and make yourself feel nice and I kind of am still like working towards that place because it was even like for me a big part of my like, confidence was like I had hair extensions and I really liked my nose piercing I had which fell out <laughs> so it closed up and like 
I've just felt a bit like meh. I kind of want to get myself to a place where if I was going to date, I'd be like feeling really confident and feeling really good about myself. And I'm not there yet. So I do think I'm probably going to wait till like lockdown is a little bit further away. And I've kind of got to a bit more of a place with myself. But also the thought of meeting someone literally is terrifying. <laughs> so <laughs> when I'll be ready for that, I do not know. But um, yeah, no, there's no plans at the moment me to go on a date unfortunately definitely think it's boring as it is so that's the main thing yeah putting yourself first and everything (laughs) so well thank you guys so much for being a part of dating in lockdown um and i hope you have a date very soon lottie and (laughs) hopefully you can book your trip to manchester (laughs) here thank you